This instrument is traveling microscope and it operates along X and Y axis. Two vernier scales are attached vertically and horizontally. By turning this knob, the microscope nozzle moves up and vice versa. On losing this lock, microscope tube can be turned in this manner. Let's lock the microscope. On turning this knob, the tube can be moved forward and backward. On turning this knob, the microscope moves along horizontal x-axis. On turning this knob, the microscope moves along vertical y-axis. This is the capillary tube with extremely narrow diameter whose radius we wish to find. Let's attach the capillary in the stand as shown. Place the traveling microscope in front of this capillary tube as shown. Please ensure a gap of at least four fingers between the microscope and the capillary tube. By moving these two knobs, by trial and error method, try to get the visual of the capillary tube. Adjust the capillary circular bore in first quadrant of the crosswire of the microscope. Take the horizontal and vertical readings on vernier attached to the microscope. Let's remove the capillary from the stand and insert it into this holder. Tighten the capillary using the screws on the back side of the holder. Fix the holder to the stand as shown. Immerse the capillary in a beaker which is 3 fourth filled with the water. Adjust the microscope as shown and observe the meniscus of the water in the capillary bore. Take the readings on the vertical scale of the vernier scale attached. Now lower the beaker by removing the wooden support. Let the capillary be out of the water. Now we will arrange the microscope with the tip of the needle and we will take the vertical vernier scale. Let's see the observations and the calculations. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching the video.